Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to look at the new features and changes available on Windows 11 build 25992. This preview is available in the Canary channel and improvements are not tied to any specific version of Windows. Okay, let's dive into the new stuff in this release. On version 23H2, Windows 11 introduced the ability to open and extract 7-zip and tar files, including for all these extensions. But you were not able to create archival formats. Okay, so that's changing starting with build 25992. Since Microsoft notes that starting with this release, it is now possible to create 7-zip and tar files from File Explorer. And this feature now comes enabled by default for all insiders, as far as I know. So in order to create an archival format, you only need to select the files, right click the selection, and then on the compress to submenu, you will find that you can choose different formats, including 7z and tar file. That's in addition to the zip file that has always been available. So let's just try a tar file. And that is all there is to it. And we're just going to leave the default name. Now we can open the file and we're going to see that we have the items that we added to the archival format. Interested enough, there is not an option on the toolbar to extract the files. However, I think that we can just copy the files and let's create another folder. And then we can, let's see, and let's paste it. And there you go. That's how you can extract the files from the archival format. In this case, a tar file. And now let's try to create a 7z file. That takes a little longer. And then now we're going to actually compress it a lot more. You can see the file size. The compression works better for 7z in this case. So if we select the files, we're still not able to see the extract option either by right clicking or on the toolbar. However, you can right click the file and select the extract all option. And that actually works to extract the files. Also, I noticed that if you don't select the files and then you go to the new menu, you're still able to select the compressed zip folder, but it won't allow you to create an empty tar or 7z file, or even if you use the new menu from the file explorer toolbar. So it seems that Microsoft still has some work to do to fully integrate this feature into the operating system, but that's a start. Aside from the new integration, Microsoft also says that made performing improvements when extracting large zip files. Also, it is worth noting that you can only create 7z and tar files on Windows 11 right now, even though you can open a lot more extensions as you see it on this list. Also on build 25992, snap layouts now shows suggestions to help you snap multiple apps together. So right now I have three different apps open and as you can see I get a suggestion to use that layout so I'm going to choose that and automatically it's going to snap all the other windows as shown in the suggestion and I don't know if it is just me but I think that now we're also getting more layouts to choose from. It is important to know that suggestions in layouts has been available before, but it didn't make it to version 23H2 and Microsoft is now testing it again. Finally, as you probably noticed, on Windows 11 build 25992, Microsoft is also experimenting on moving the copilot button to the bottom right corner of the taskbar, more specifically known as the system trade. The button still behaves in the same way and when you click it, it will just open the experience. When you click it again, it will close it. And before it used to be on the left side. But here's the thing, the feature is still not officially available. It has been spotted by Phantom of Earth on X and after enabling the feature there is not an additional option that you can set on the settings app which can suggest that microsoft may be considering permanently relocating copilot to the system tray but that's my opinion 
Also, if this is the case, the company may also have to rethink about the button, at least the size, to fit with the style of the system tray. And that's it. That's pretty much all that's new on Windows 11 build 25992. Also make sure to check the video description because I will be leaving a link to the written post for everything that's new on this flight will also include changes to the server message block or the SMB protocol. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.